Can you hear me? Baby, can you hear me? Hello? Hi. Hi. I'm sorry to blow your hopes and dreams down. I'm going to be okay. Okay. Zach broke my heart. But I'll die still loving him. You will be dead long before that candle. No, liar. You don't know that. Come on now, in 50 or 60 years, you're going to be far too senile to even remember Slater's name, never mind being in love with him. We might not have that long, Ryan. We could die here. We could die here together, you and me, right now. We could really die here. We are not going to die. <laughs> Ryan, you don't know that. I do know that, Kendall. I know it because I, I know it. No, Ryan, do we have any water? Do we have any food? I mean, has anyone tried to save us? No, no, I, I don't even know where my mother is. I don't know if my mother's hurt. I don't know if the other people that I love even made it out. All I know is that I'm stuck here with you, alone, you and me. We're doomed. Well, you know, you've always, you've always been really upbeat and positive. That's one of the things I really liked about you, you know, that can't help. It's not funny. I know it's not. Here, here. Here we go. Is that better? Yes, much. Tissue just fixes everything. You see, you can make jokes. That's a... That's a good sign. It's only because I'm all cried out. I'm all everything out. Come on now, Kendall. That's, that, that's not the Kendall that I know. You know exactly who I am and, and what I need. And you know just what I had to find out. And we're right back to Zach. It only took about 30 seconds. No, this is not a Zach thing. This is a you thing, Ryan. Because you always have to know everything. You, you know that we're going to be rescued. Well, you knew Jonathan was innocent, only he was guilty as hell. You knew Greenlee, she was much better off without you, so you decided to fake your own death. You knew exactly how to handle me when we were together, and you knew just what I had to find out and just what I need right now in my life. You notice a pattern here, Ryan, a little pattern, maybe a little cause and effect? Every time you know something, you're wrong. You think I want you dead? I try not to think about you at all. Okay, maybe you don't know this about me, but I have a tendency to freak out in small places. So maybe you could just focus right on me, okay? Uh, and, just, and just explain to me why you passed out. Could be the uh, explosion that caused the building collapse. <laughs> Oh, it could be stuck in here with dear old dad and his endless head games. No <laughs> games. I was wrong, I admit that. Mm -hmm. See? And I love you. <laughs> I admit that, too. Can you, can you blame me for preferring to be unconscious? Oh, don't do it again, OK? Because I need you here with me. You hear that, Slater? That's love. What my mother gave to me, that was love. I wish I'd realized it at the time. Instead, I just, I fixated on what you told me on her death about this father out there somewhere in the world. She thought she was doing me a favor, giving me family when she was gone. But she never knew you. And I wish to God I never did exactly how to build the, the house of heart lavery. You thought, I will build it on pure ego and ultimatums. And here come the compliments. You handed me a lovely engagement ring and then said I had to accept Greenlee as a full partner. Otherwise, sorry, too bad, deal's off. You see, now that is very interesting to me because the way I remember it, you told me that I couldn't talk to Greenlee ever again and she had to be cut out of fusion and our lives forever. How silly of me to think that you wanted her. That's that's kind of crazy. You only married Greenlee and declared her the love of your life. 
because obviously I wasn't. So I guess that makes me the thank God I got away from her when I did of your life. Hey, you want to play? That's that's fine. I mean, if you want to distract yourself from what's happened here, I completely understand that. But don't don't lie and pretend that you found some some deep truth, Kendall. Because I did love you. I loved you like hell. You got it backwards. You said I loved you like hell, but what you meant was like hell. I loved you. Come on now, Kendall. If I'm going to admit it, you sure as hell have to admit it too. I love you. Okay. Enough already. All right. You loved me. I loved you too. Like crazy. It's a nice word. Fits somehow. Why? Just because I. Stormed your wedding and slam dunked your puny little bride like a donut. You didn't think we were done yet, and at the time you were, you know, you were right. I was delusional. I hurt you. You know, this really is not one of my mother's best parties. Don't tell her I said that. I hurt you, and I am really, really sorry. Well, you should be. I was kind and gentle and sweet, and I never caused you a moment's pain. Look, if you want to be like that, that's cool. I'm just trying to be honest here, and I'm trying to get this kind of out in the open. I hurt you too, and I'm sorry. We did have a few unpainful moments, though, didn't we? Like when we met. Hmm. <laughs> oh, when we met. Oh God, at the pine cone, I was wearing a towel, and yeah. you you were came in fresh off uh, your bike. You were blaring music and chugging champagne. Let's burn the place down with your cigarette. <laughs> I quit. Yeah, you called me six pack when I had one. <laughs> you called me brat. Yeah, I did. Mm. How could I have been so wrong? Yeah, there. You know, there was also the time when you. You gave me the best Christmas gift a girl could ever get—a fake pregnancy pooch so that I could beat a murder rap. Mm. And look, you gave me another pooch. Only this one's for real. It's not so much a gift as it is theft. What's a little larceny between friends? Well, you aren't always wrong. You weren't wrong about Zach. What the hell is everyone? Exactly, uh, how American is our, uh, is our wedding going to be, huh? We got bridesmaids in the double digits yet? <laughs> or rose petals, eight tiered wedding cake. What's <laughs> wrong? A limo. <laughs> a limousine, you know? Something grandiose. Exactly the last thing that you would ever expect. A multi-millionaire is beautiful, beautiful bride to be seen in. With a hot tub. <laughs> oh, baby, you're shivering. I, uh, I think that I think the heat is on, on the blink. Get so lucky. 
just like God made the perfect man just for me. I give you perfect. Yeah. I can give you a perfect honeymoon. Oh, you better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go to Paris and the Greek islands and Italy. Flowers. Flowers everywhere. And a yacht. I want to see it all from the deck of the yacht. We have to hurry. Or we'll be late. Late for what? School. Mrs. Winchester. She makes you kneel for an hour if you forget your daily vows. Ethan, this is Simone. You're in Pine Valley. There was an explosion, but we're okay. We're together. Everything is going to be fine. Old lover. Never. Never canst them. Kids. What is it? What is it doing? Yeah, it's the case. Yet. He's in school. Do not grieve. Why? Why is he doing this? She cannot this? die. For thou. As cool as I am. Nine be bliss. So forever thou. It's a good job. It's a good time. job. Listen to me. Listen to me. Okay. Look at me. I'm, I'm, Look at I'm me. Looking at you. Okay. Try to focus. I, I don't. I don't know you. Hey. I'm your dad. Good for you. I can say without flinching. You'll never be my father. Let me have a meal. I don't need your help. I don't need your help. Honey, I don't they're, need they're your gonna help. come for us, okay? They're, they're, they'll be here and, and and everything's gonna be okay. Can you feel this? I'm holding your hand. I'm right here. Yeah. You came back. Oh, we'll come back. You, you haven't met. That's right. I missed you, Mom. takes an explosion and being trapped in a small space, possibly left to die, but at least we know. Know what? Why we ended up such a raging disaster. Raging is kind of a strong word, don't you think? Yeah, well, people who, who don't remember things, they're doomed to repeat the past. But our memories are A-OK. -okay. So, Greenlee's gone and Zack is Zack, and we're having a baby. All true. What's your point? Maybe we should try again. <laughs>